now it's a quarter to nine and I'm heading to the foundry uh, beautiful day 41 degrees outside that's better than yesterday uh. <laughs> holy moly I had to sneeze anyway I'm on my way to the foundry it's a about a 60 some odd mile trot trip each way I'm uh, going to bring the bronze home tonight and photograph it. All right, Adriana has uh, put a sulfur solution on the uh, bronze to turn it black. And now she's rubbing back those areas that uh, need to be rubbed back for the coloring. And uh, we'll be right back. I'm just going to dub in uh, commentary on what she's doing. Right now she's spraying a ferric acid which will turn parts of it brown and parts of it red depending on what uh, the under coating is and uh, that's why she's rubbed back on the uh, rear horse because we want that uh, horse a little more red and uh, certainly uh, a different color than the uh, front horse, which is black. Adriana is a horse person, so she knows her horses and she knows how they're colored. Now what she's doing is rubbing back areas, just giving a little more of a, you know, contrast. And uh, I think she's doing a dynamite job on this uh, piece. We're just, it, at some point I decided not to add color to the bronze and I'll explain later why I did that. The, uh, flame she's using to heat the bronze is what makes the acid she's spraying on it right now uh, react to the heat. It uh, literally changes the color of the bronze, which has copper in it. And uh, in fact, I'm, I'm charged a little extra for the copper content. They have to wait till they get the bronze done to uh, weigh the bronze so that they can figure how much of a percentage of that is copper because copper is changing color and cost or value so much uh, that uh, I'm charged basically what uh, the copper content is costing that day. A lot of people, that uh, pad that she's using is just a uh, Brillo that you would use to clean your dishes with. It's a plastic uh, brillo. And she's just highlighting areas of it, and I'm basically showing her here 
how I want the, the feathers to be highlighted. I don't want to have white on the feathers because white would draw your eye to the uh, feather. Yeah, you, public bronzes are endangered because people that uh, are criminals will actually cut a bronze off their base in a public place and then melt the bronze down and, and get the copper out of the bronze because it's that valuable. Now we're just about done. I've decided at this point this is a uh, the color we're going to have on the bronze, and we've discussed it often while she was coloring it. All right, I've decided not to put a lot of color on this. It just, your eye gets drawn to bright colors, and I was thinking that if I put bright colors on this, your eye would be drawn to one place. I mean, even the tacks on his legs, legging, I, I just didn't think they should be too bright. Um, because the whole piece needs to be seen as a whole piece and not just as little parts because of some color like maybe red beads in the, on the uh, scabbard and stuff like that. So I decided to do more of a uh, dark horse in the front and a chestnut in the background or in the back one uh, just to give it a color difference there. but. Uh, I'm liking this a, a lot, and I think it's going to look good once it's in the proper lighting. There, she's got to put uh, wax this and uh, seal it, and the colors will change a bit uh, when she does that because we, we don't really see the colors the way they're going to really look. And uh, I've done enough of these things that I can, I can see it's going to be a pretty good piece. So that's going to be it here for now, and then I'm going to take this home tonight and uh, once we get the base on it and photograph it and I'll get that uh, I'll show you that uh, when we get to there yeah <laughs> when I get home with this piece and I uh, set it up for the photographs give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time